They look very retro. Why does it have... Oh, you have to open it from this side. I think I broke it. There we go. Oh, 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 I know what they are. I know what they are. This really feels so nostalgic for me. All right, it's time for me to put it to the test. <laughs> Please don't be so harsh on me, okay? <gasps> oh, just a guest. Ugh. I'd like to welcome you all to the Nintendo World Championships. There are lasers everywhere, the music was blasting, and you're on stage and everybody's cheering and everybody's... Gentlemen, we have ourselves a new Nintendo World Champion! Full disclosure, I am not competitive at all by any means, but I guess it's gonna be time for me to put it to a test with the Nintendo World Championship NES Edition. And if you're nostalgic like me, you'll definitely want to get the Deluxe Edition. So let's see what's included in the box. Let's start with the NES Edition box. A bit tricky to get it open. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 I know what they are. I know what they are. Let me show you. This is one of the major reasons why I got these. <laughs> and as you can see, the most important one is up here for me, which is The Legend of Zelda. Well, Link holding a piece of the Triforce. It also has the official NES edition world championship with the logo and everything. Uh, you probably don't know this, but I really, really enjoy Metroid as well. So these two pins are really what I was looking for. And it does look it's a... Uh, Great quality pins, if you ask me. So that's good. And by the way, the first Nintendo World Championship was back in 1990. So quite a while ago. Um, these, I feel like these are going to be the cards. It includes the official artwork for those 13 games that are included with the game card and pixel art, something like that. They look very retro, to be honest. Why does it have... Oh, you have to open it from this side. <laughs> okay, all right. It doesn't come with instructions. <laughs> I think I broke it. It has a little tab on the side for you to open it. So there you go. Oh, yeah, it's a lot easier, huh? But like I said, it includes the official artwork from those particular games. So we have The Legend of Zelda. We also have Mario Bros, of course. And then we have Metroid. Followed by Donkey Kong. Well, the first original, the, the arcade classic from Donkey Kong. The Super Mario Brothers 2, Excite Bike, and you also have Ice Climbers, yay! And Balloon Fight! And then we have Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh, and the, the Adventure of Link, that's Zelda 2. We have been playing that here on the channel, by the way. Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels is also included, and a Kirby's Adventures. And you also have like little uh, pixel art on the back of them, so it's not just like the art. You can see one of the main characters, like our Link over here from the it's the Adventure of Link. We have Mario, so and the cardboard is really good. I, I I'll say it's really good, so you can definitely add it to your collection. So you see all of that in the back, the little ice climber over there. Really nice to have these. I think they're a good size for you to put them on display or to use them. And of course you have the game card. So let's get it open. Yeah, you have the designs inside of the pins. What I understand is that when you get challenges in the game, you get collectibles like these ones. And last but not least, the golden cartridge. This really feels so nostalgic for me, so let's do it. It was made to commemorate the original event in 1990. I gotta say that it's beautiful. Have a look. So this doesn't work. It's for display only. So you see at the bottom. One of the things that I really like are the symbols that you can notice on the back. It does have the logo. So you see Nintendo World Championships NES Edition, but it should also include something else in the box, which is, oh, a way for you to display this amazing game pack or this cartridge. So here we go. It's acrylic, but it's very heavy. I think it's gonna be very sturdy for you to display it. And then all you do is to slide your game cartridge here and you can put it on display. Isn't it great? I'm gonna start playing and see if I have what it takes to 
end up on one of the leaderboards. So let's get started with that. All right, it's time for me to put it to the test. See how good or bad... Well, actually, I'm not very good at retro games. But let's see how it goes. So let me pop in the game and let's get started. Let's do it. <gasps> I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be so harsh on me, okay? Between the late 80s and early 90s. Oh, they give you information about it. That's so cool. NES championships were held all across the world. The obstacles of visiting the venues in person may have made it difficult for many of you to see this spectacular firsthand. And some of you faced even more greater obstacles. Not yet being born. <laughs> A lot of you guys probably, yeah. That's why we brought the championship to you. Now you can experience the thrill of competition against players from around the world. This is Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Creating a profile. So choose a player icon. This will appear alongside your nickname. You can use the uh, coins you get from playing to unlock more. You can change this later, so no rush. Oh, 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 okay, I only have four. Legend of Zelda, yes, yes, please. I need my link, please. Choose a hype tag. This will appear alongside your nickname. Choose one that really suits you. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just being super nostalgic. Um, wrote my name on my games, completed every game I got. No, never had an NES. I did have an NES. However, I can tell you that my dad purchased it like, I don't know, seven or eight years after the fact. So yeah, I wasn't born when the NES uh, was released back then, right? So, but once the reset button for life, <laughs> I guess it's gonna be the one. Oh, there's so many. Game & Watch Generation, Game Boy Generation. Oh, that's super cute. Well, I gotta say that even though I was like SNES generation, um, probably Nintendo 64 because that uh, was the era that brought me more into gaming. So Nintendo Forever, that's a great, a great tag. Uh, raced in arcade games! I was raced in arcade games. I was. Oh my god, there are so many. Princess Zelda's number one fan. I'm so sorry, Zelda. I love you, but I prefer Link all the way. So, Link's the bomb. I guess I'm gonna go Link's the bomb. I guess I'm gonna confirm that. And then I can change it, I hope. But choose your favorite NES or Famicom game. If you did not know, Famicom was the Japanese version of the NES. So, the Nintendo Entertainment System, that's what it stands for, was for North America or, you know, for the entire world, except Japan in this case. So, select from NES or Famicom games. Your favorite can be changed at any time. Okay. It's gonna be NES, sorry. The Legend of Zelda. Activate online features. Uh, this will let you compete with players all around the world. World Championship and Survival Mode. Other players will be able to see your nickname, player icon, hype tag, favorite NES game, favorite pin, personal best times, and rankings. World Championships replays will be viewable from recent champions replays until the next championship. All right, let's do it. Yeah, sure. All right, all right. So it's connecting. You do need, you are required to get the Nintendo Switch Online membership, just the basic one. You don't have to get like the expansion pass uh, for you to be able to play online. Okay, so this is one player and it says start here, speedrun mode. Okay. All right, so speedrun mode. Become a speedrunner master by practicing the challenges offline. Your fastest clear time will be saved. The coins you get from playing can be used to unlock more challenges. The NES versus, I, I like the fact that you're getting some sort of gamification, but no microtransactions, which is good. Uh, hopefully that's, that's the case for the entire game, right? It's also worth mentioning that this does not include the full game. It includes 150 challenges. It's not a collection, it's more like a remix. There were two games, uh, Remix games, the NES Remix and NES Remix 2, which was, I think, for the 3DS, but it's something similar. NES versions of the games are used with a few exceptions. Some part of the games may differ from the original versions. Okay, that I did not know, but okay, let's see. <laughs> so, Mushroom, it says. I can confirm it. Okay, so get the Super Shroom, and I guess that's it. So it gives you like a preview. Uh, you can do a fast forward with plus, I guess. What's, which one is the plus? Oh, okay, so it gives you... Okay. Just get the shroom. That's 
the basic level, right? Difficulty is one star. <laughs> okay, how do you play this? Oh, I don't know what that is. Ooh, okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Six. Okay. Oh, I, I, I got a pin. Uh, earn a, a rank or higher to get the most room challenge. Okay, is there a way to get rid of that other thing? My personal best replay? Well, we'll figure it out, I guess, so. Yeah, it gives you like a replay, which I don't know why. Okay, that's 566. Don't go alone. Go. All right, so don't go along objectives get the sword from the legend of zelda It actually gives you the release date, which is awesome. I, I really like that nostalgic detail. All right I cannot run with link by the way ba -ba 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 -da. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yes. Oh, uh, no <laughs> All right, I got a pin but that actually was terrible. So I'm gonna try again <laughs> You know, I feel like you really need to get the um, NES uh, controllers. I think it's going to be a lot easier to do it that way. Right, that's better. I feel better now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we got an S rank, which is great. So I got A for Mario. All right. Power grab Morpho Ball. I'm not great at uh, Metroid. I feel like the newer Metroids are more for me, but okay. It doesn't look that horrible. Okay, okay, so get the morph ball. So if you do not make it well... Okay, there we go. No jumping, just straight out with the with the D-pad. Yeah, I feel like if you get the NES controllers, it's going to be a lot easier. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to press it again, but... Okay, I'm gonna do it again, sure. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got an A++ on that one. Hey, getting an S on the Legend of Zelda really... You know brings me hope so am i able to unlock this yes the octorok uh, onslaught okay so it says defeat all enemies all right all right oh i i am not great at these games and i still okay yeah i got a pin hey that's an octorok world championship pin can i get one of those pins please Yes. All right. I did not do that horrible, so I'm going to skip this one. I think that I did okay. And of course, we're going to continue with The Legend of Zelda, right? Let me know in the comments which other challenges would you like me to play or would you like me to try. We tried um, Super Mario and Metroid, but I'm going to stick with The Legend of Zelda. Oh, by the way, there's also a second game of The Legend of Zelda here, which is Zelda 2. So I might just go into that as well. So I have 130 points as you're able to see above me. Um, and the more you play, the more coins you get and stuff like that, right? So, all right, so it says enter the cave. Oh, I'm gonna have the bombs for that. Okay, I, I like that you get it fixed so you don't have to go and hunt the, get the bombs or anything. Plus, play the bomb with B. Ooh. Doesn't really matter if I get damage, right? Yes, I got the pin. That's so cool. I'm, I'm really, I'm really liking this. Why am I so hyped? I think I did great on the first ones. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going for a bit, but I already, I successfully completed Zelda 2: The Adventure of Link, which was a big challenge. Uh, you can find the videos here on my channel, by the way. Um, and I'm gonna try. <laughs> The challenges for Zelda 2 and see how it goes, all right? Wish me luck. <laughs> all right, so defeat three enemies. All right, let's do it. Monster Slayer? Crouch and attack. Oh, wait, it's with the A. Oh. All right, I have to practice my my, my timing. Okay, let's, let's try it, let's try it. That was way better. Okay, I got my pin. Cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. A plus. 
it's fine. Okay, leveling up with the points. So get a treasure bag and increase your level. All right, keys go away. Please do not. How do I? Okay. Five seconds. There we go. There you go. It wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> yeah, I needed to confirm. Fairy finder. Okay, we're gonna start with that. Oh, I just need to jump. Ooh. Oh, do 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 do. We got a B, so I'm gonna try it again. So I need to use the that as a jump for me. Two twenty-five. We got the pin. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, what's next? Oh, that's hard. Okay. We're increasing difficulty. Okay. Uh, cliff jumping. Is that hard? Oh, you have the little bubbles there. I hate those things. So cross the bridge. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Ooh. Mario taught me how to do this. I can do this. Uh, wait. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if I can get hit by them. Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. 12 seconds. Oh, we got the pin. Uh, That's A plus. Is that okay? Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. That's 50. Okay, let me go to Legend of Zelda. I want to see what which one is the hard one because those are normals. There we go. Let's do the keys. Yeah. Okay. So get the key. Oh, okay. Oh, but I do need to defeat all the enemies to get the key. Right? That's how Legend of Zelda works. Sword. Bang. You know what I feel is going to be more of a challenge is for you to get used to all the controllers depending on the game that you're playing. Oh, we got the pin. The keys, there we go. Um, getting, I know that for the NES, it was just two buttons and then the start and I mean select or whatever was the case. But some work with an A to jump instead of using the sword and stuff like that. So I guess you just have to get used to that. Which one is the heart one? Take the heart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the fir first part of the map and keep going. Are they gonna ask me to place a bomb or something? Fast forward. Well, it's not hard, but you have to be very careful. I mean, it's not difficult, but you have to be very careful to not waste time, right? Because this, this is speed running, basically. Yeah, they are gonna be using the bomb. Yeah, take anyone you want. Yeah, okay. All right, that's the hard one. So let's go for that one. Two, one. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, it gives you the little arrows to show you that you have to go there. That's so cute. That's really cool because if you're a new player, that's really going to help a lot. So we're gonna play. Oh, it actually tells you where to place a bomb! <laughs> oh my god. Go away. It doesn't matter if I get hit, I think, but you waste precious time. 33 seconds. I got the pin! Yay! It was A, so let's see if we can try it again. Yeah, let's try it again. Try to go faster. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. faster. Yeah. All right, that, that, that went bad. well. The replay is a bit distracting at the very first... Uh, like the fir the first impression that I got, but I'm not paying attention to it anymore. I don't know if it it's the effect of this this game, but I feel oh yeah, I might be able to get a better time. Thirty one. Okay, that's an A plus. Perfect. All right, I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's go back to Legend of Z I mean Zelda two. Wait. That's 50 points. <gasps> Low key hero. All right, so going down the dun dungeon. Yes. Oh, the, those rats. Okay, so jumping, I, I feel it's skipping, skipping, and sp skipping through. The Stalfos, yeah, ignore the Stalfos, fine. What else, what else? Oh, there's gonna be a rat there, so just be careful with that. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, I feel like I need an NES, um, oh, come on, an NES, uh, controller. That song. Oh, 
always gets me. Ooh, wait, I don't have my beam anymore. That's why. So because I got hit the first time. Hey, but I got the rank. A, that's that's good. I got I got the pin. I, I like that. Let's try it again so I don't mess up. I don't know how the instant re replay actually works, but it's all about timing. You can do it. Ding ding ding. I cannot I can't I can't with that song. <gasps> can't. Okay. I got hit, so yeah, there we go. It's better. New personal best. I like that. I really do. Okay. It's, it's good. Alright, so we're gonna go back. Oh, current challenges. Oh, because I'm online, you also have like the world championship. So according to what I know is that depending on the week is the challenge that you're going to do. So we have a couple of levels right now. So the Nintendo World uh, Championship NES Edition, current challenges until um, July 22nd. So that's only a few days left. Um, and you have one master for a Super Mario 2. Okay. Now because I opened, like I started there, now I have access to all the other options. So we have the spin, speed run mode, which is the one that I already went through. We have the world championships, uh, test your skills against players from around the world, and current participants 77,868 by the time I'm recording this video, okay? And I, I just got it like a few hours ago and it got released today. <laughs> Survival mode. Compete against seven other players. I I've heard about this one. Right. And we have the player's icons. Here's where you can change it. And the pink collections. That's so cute. Oh, I can, I can put one favorite. So, of course, Link is going to be my favorite. Yes. Okay, that's so cool. Oh, and the settings. Okay, okay. So, probably I can change that. A speedrun mode uh, replay. So, a replay for the personal best. Okay, yeah, that's the one that I'm gonna hide. So, I'm gonna delete it. All right, so that's the way for you to remove it by going into the settings. Um, I guess we're gonna try... We're gonna go with survival mode and see how it goes. Okay, so this is an um, elimination match against ghost data records of players from around the world. The number of players will drop from 8, 4 to 2 with the last player remaining crowned the winner and the winner gets a lot of coins all right you get the rewards for it you have the silver division and the gold division so test your skills or challenge yourself i guess i'm gonna do with test your skills oh i have oh that's really cool ghost competitors i don't really understand what's the ghost competitive uh term but all right, get ready. I need to press a button. Okay, this is definitely better. First, okay. All right. <laughs> cool. Nice. All right. Victory. Oh, that's round two? What are we doing? Enter the gate? Okay. Ugh. Okay. Uh... Okay. Ugh. Patience. Ah! I said patience! How well or bad am I doing? Let me know. <laughs> I can't see. How do you... Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, I got first place. <laughs> All right. That's, that's the adrenaline. Like, the excitement. <gasps> oh, just against... Kirby. Final round. No, not... Not the Octorox! I was practicing that one. I feel I did horrible on that one. Ugh. Come on! Oh! I did it! <laughs> yes! First!
first victory championship. I got 150 coins. <sighs> That's really cool. Yes, I got... <gasps> Official ranking? Um... I don't know what to tell you. I... I, I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video and for, you know, for, for staying with me throughout my entire career as a speedrunner in <laughs> competition. Thank you very much, Nintendo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, I really enjoy this. This is so cool. I'm gonna take a photo. Can I take a photo? Of course I can take a photo. I'm very excited for this. I really like it. Oh, I got a pin! Win survival mode, Silver Division for the first time. I'm gonna cry. This is dedicated to all of you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. I really, really did enjoy it. Like you have a bunch of replay value, I feel. Um, you have all of those 13 games that were included and you have the speed run mode, you have the world championship, the survival mode, and then you get to, you get to be entertained or busy collecting all of those pins, right? So I feel like that's super cool as well. Um, there is an incentive and it feels rewarding. It feels exciting. I, I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you're excited for this title, if you're planning to buy it, or if you feel that it's not really worth it. Let me know anything in the comments so we can start having a conversation. And if you like unboxings like this one, I'm pretty sure you're going to love the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. So I'll see you on that video. Thank you. Bye.